Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be giving a devotional today, and I want to talk about something that is not discussed too often in Christian circles. But I want to talk about illegal immigration because we see that this is becoming a great problem in the United States and in our country. And the Bible actually talks a lot about this as it mentions so many different topics. But today I want to get into it and talk about it a little further because we know that the border, the southern border, and even the northern border were being invaded. I believe that we're under an invasion right now. And what we need to do is we need to pray for our country and we need to pray for our leaders to implement laws to protect the United States citizens. So without further ado, I'm going to be jumping right into the Word of God. And I'm going to be reading out of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And I believe that God has a word for you today. And before I get into this devotional, if you have not subscribed to this channel and you are new, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button right below. And if you could also like this video, it would bring more traffic to it and it would help it out a ton. And I would appreciate it. So anyway, I'm going to be reading out of the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and I'm going to read verse 43. What does it say? It says, the stranger that is within thee, in the country, shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. That's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43 through 45. It's talking about strangers invading the country. What happens when a country is turning their back on God? What's happening when leaders are feckless, when they're incompetent, and when they're intentionally trying to bring an ideology and they're trying to bring people into this country illegally? What happens is that we have all kinds of chaos. And the Bible says, what does it say in the book of Proverbs? Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34, it says, Righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. We see the debauchery. We see the immorality, the moral decay that's going on right now in our country. And now the Biden administration is literally trying to do all it can to bring as many illegal immigrants into this country as possible. And do you know how many people are invading this border right now, the southern border? They're catching people from terrorist nations like Iran and, and Iraq and, and um, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, all of these countries that are against the United States, Libya, all of these people that are coming in, not only people from, you know, South America and, and people who are, you know, from Mexico, but all these countries are coming in. Everybody's coming in right now. We don't even know who they are. They're not even being vetted. And what's coming through the border right now is we know that fentanyl has killed over 100,000 United States citizens. What does the scripture say? It says it very clearly. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. The taxpayers have to pay. They're getting free housing. They're getting free shelter. They're getting all their bills, medical bills on the pack, the taxpayers back is what's happening right now. And the fentanyl is killing so many young people and it's coming across the Southern border. You even have Chinese people coming in, people from China coming in, people from Russia coming in. This is such a dangerous time. And because of the fentanyl, it, that's going to kill more and more of our citizens because this border has not been closed. It's intentionally being done. The reason why it's being done is because the Democrats, they want more and more. They want more and more voters. And if they can get illegals into the country, they can vote any way they want and they will vote for them, you know? And so they're looking for a future voter so they can keep power in perpetuity because they want to run the show as much as possible. This is what's happening. And um, we just saw what happened in Texas, you know, Governor Abbott, which he did a very wonderful thing and he followed the constitution that he was going to protect our country from an invasion he put barbed wire up in eagle pass texas and what happened the biden administration did a lawsuit took it all the way to the supreme court to have governor abbott take down for them to take down the barbed wire so that people can illegally pass through and their excuse is we want to 
have our our border patrol watch over them and not be hindered. The barbed wire does a great job all by itself. And you know what? They were not doing anything. As the people were coming through, they're letting them come flow right into the country. You know that since the um, Biden has become president, all the way up till now, that 8.1 million illegal people have come into this country. So many of them unvetted. We don't know who they are, where they come from. We have MS-13 gangs that have killed so many people. We have um, people coming into the country bringing drugs, sex trafficking, child slavery, all kinds of immorality. This is the truth. You know what? A lot of people don't want to bring it up, but you know what? I will because I'm not afraid to call out the evil that's going on because the Bible says in scripture that we will be invaded by strangers and if we're not following god any country this is an example here illegal immigration we've got to protect our borders without a border we don't have a country we need to seal it up because it's bringing danger what is it doing it's causing all kinds of problems in our country the fentanyl and um you know what they even took out children in the New York schools. They were they removed them for the illegal immigrants in New York City. And they were removing them out and bringing in these illegal immigrants. And you know what? They're giving them all the, the best treatment in the world. And what do they do to us, the United States citizens? We have to sit on the back line. And how about the people who come in illegal, that come in legally? You know what? They have to go through a process and it's a very difficult process. And it takes a long time for them to get their citizenship, but they do it the right way. And look at these people. They're getting rewarded for committing crimes and coming in and causing all kinds of chaos in our country. It's just wrong. And uh, we got to do something about it. We've got to stop it before it destroys our country. And what we need to do as Christians is we need to pray. We need to pray that we get the right leadership in office. What we need to do is pray that they put a wall up. We need a border wall up. We need to deport all of these illegals. Because think about this. 8.1 million illegals have been cross through this border. And you know what? Just think about this. It's an astronomical number. Think of what's going on right now. New York City, which is a, the biggest city in this country, a massive, huge city of population of 8.5 million people. So you know how many people have crossed the border and come into this country legally since Biden has been the president? Almost the same amount as the people in the population of New York City. It is just outrageous. And you know what's happening? More and more, the more they come into the country, the more housing that's needed to, to house these people. Why do you think house prices are going up? Not only the inflation because of all of the uh, horrible um, policies of the Biden administration, but you know what? When there's more people and less housing, too many people chasing too fewer goods, the housing prices are going to go up because there's more people. Too many people are coming in everywhere, and it's not going to stop unless someone stands up and speaks out against it, prays against it. Now, we love legal people. We welcome people into our country. We've always been a, a country of immigrants, but it has to be done through a process. These people need to be vetted. These people need to be looked at because it's dangerous. I want to go to the book of... Um, I want to go to the book of Isaiah because it says something kind of similar in the book of Isaiah chapter 1. And what does it say in verse 7? It says this. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. These cities, look at the crime. Look at the, the fire. I mean, look at all of the riots. The fire was burning up cities and businesses. I mean, you look at Portland. You look at, you look at uh, Minneapolis. We, we look at all of these cities that were burned up. And, and it says... Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. Illegal immigrants are coming in. And it says it is desolate and overthrown by strangers. We're allowing strangers to come in and invade us. This is a big time invasion. It's all done on purpose. And it's all done with an agenda. And what we need to do is pray that we get a leader in there. I believe President Trump will get in there. I believe that he will seal up the border. I believe that he will deport these people. They need to be deported. They need to be sent back out. That's unfortunate, but they are illegally in this country. They're committing a crime. And when you commit a crime, we should not support that. God wants things to be done properly. Look at the scriptures say, strangers come into your land and then it's an oppression. In, unless it's done properly. Like I said, if you vet and then you come in legally through the system, through a, a good system that's wonderful 
But we know that we need to seal up this border. We need to do what's right. We need to protect our country. We need to protect our people. You know what? Once these people get deported, once they go in the right way, what's going to happen? We're going to have peace. MS-13 gangs can be removed. We're not going to have terrorism. We're not going to have fentanyl. We're not going to have all of these things that are bringing such stress to our country. Now, I went to a Fox News um the Fox and Friends, I was there, and it was a bunch of people there. I was able, blessed to be able to meet Lawrence Jones and uh, Kaylee McEnany, and I, I met Ainsley Earhart, and several individuals that were there, Brian Kilmeade and Pete Hegseth, they were wonderful people. And we all talked about this, and there was all these questions going on. And what was the top concern amongst all the people? Illegal immigration. Our border is being invaded. We don't know who's coming into this country. And you know what? A lot of these people are bad people. They have a bad intentions and they're gonna commit crimes and they're gonna continue to harm children. And it's just, this is so horrible. And I believe that's an impeachable offense to allow this type of stuff to go on. Our country being invaded, our children being um, exploited, children being exploited, it's horrible. And what we need to do is pray against it. Stand strong. Like Deuteronomy 28 says, it says you're blessed when you come in, blessed when you go out. If you are serving God, putting God first, we need to put God first in our country. We need to get on our knees and pray and pr pray that our border will be protected, that there will be a wall put up on the southern border and there'll be a, a protection in the northern border. And I believe God will bless this nation. If this devotion encouraged you, again, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel, I'll put a like on it, put a comment below if you like as well, and may God continue to bless you as you praise and worship him.